Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I will be doing a review and a demo makeup look using the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. This palette, so beautiful. The display of it, the colors, the whole setup, I love, love, love. Fell in love with the palette when I first seen it online that they were going to come out with a new palette. I told myself I have to get a palette. So... Overall, using this palette, you guys will see in the video, which I'm actually going to keep the clips in. I was originally trying to recreate this purple makeup look that I seen her use in one of her, you know, photos that she took. And you guys, it was horrible. 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 I had to take off my eye makeup and redo my, you know, eye portion again. Thank God I only had foundation and eyebrows when I first started the video, so that was a plus, but I would have been so pissed off, super pissed off if I would have had all my makeup done. So when you do dramatic makeup looks, or even this palette in general, if you're going to use it, and you're going to use the more vibrant, more of the artistry shades down here, um, I would recommend to do eyes first and then do your foundation base and everything else just because there is a lot of fallout the um, purple you guys will see the in the shade not my journey the purple once i would start blending it out lightly it would disappear like it would vanish by wasn't there um and it was patchy so overall i mean the palette it's super beautiful this palette the most basic person can use as well as a more artistry person but you do have to be very careful with how you use these shadows so this is the makeup look that i came out with i just decided to wing it and see who what i would do um and i actually really like how it came out it's more artistry it's not your everyday makeup look so keep that in mind but you can do an everyday makeup look using this palette will i repurchase this palette no the pigment is just it's not it's too sometimes it's the pigment is just too pigmented that it literally just goes everywhere and you guys will see that in the clip where I'm trying to do the purple um, makeup look and it just it sucks you know and the mess that it left I've never had eyeshadow on my desk because the eyeshadows I use are just so good but this palette just left eyeshadow everywhere I had to really clean my table that I use for filming it's already a little dirty in the front which I'm trying to clean it off and it's you know it's coming off and stuff but I mean I just I never have good luck with the Jaclyn Hill palettes I don't know why but you know I'm gonna keep it in my makeup collection I'm gonna keep on using it hopefully I get to film another video definitely definitely use eyeshadow primer this palette here you have to use eyeshadow primer just because of how the shadows are i mean pigmented wise i feel like with an eyeshadow primer they're really gonna stick on and they're not gonna you know vanish from your eye area and into another place of your face i, I personally want to buy this palette again but i will go ahead and just keep on using it i mean i already paid for it whatever if not i'll just give it to my mom again they just never work out for me and it freaking sucks but i really love the whole presentation of the palette it's very beautiful i love the colors in here uh i'm gonna keep on playing with it you guys so far this palette for me it's just it's okay it's an okay palette so let's go ahead and let's begin the tutorial so the packaging is just basic packaging i love it i love the simplicity i hope that's a word simplicity it just says Jacqueline Hill volume 2 and in the back you do get a note with her picture and 
a cute little message it itself i actually opened it yesterday because i couldn't wait but i didn't swatch any of the colors it does come with a plastic protector here but i went ahead and i took that off this palette you guys is so freaking gorgeous it, it's just beautiful but we'll wait till the end of the video because this is going to be a review video and also stay tuned to the end of the video because i'm gonna have a surprise for you guys if you guys follow me on instagram then you already kind of know what the surprise is a very simple jacqueline hill volume 2 palette you open up the palette and this is the palette here look how beautiful the colors are everything is so beautiful and she also gives like a little message when i seen this palette online you guys i'm not gonna lie i freaked out i was shook of how beautiful the palette looked like i literally was like i need this palette i'm gonna get this palette and it's crazy because normally with jacqueline hill palettes i always get excited but i hate when i use them because i feel that they're just not doing it for me so i used to have her jacqueline hills favorites from morphe and i mean that one just got old um and they were just like her favorites but then i also got the jacqueline hill volume one palette and that one i do have a review if you haven't seen it i will link it down below for you guys the palette was just not for me it was patchy on my eye it was just it I didn't love it so I actually gave that to my mom because I knew there were certain shades in there that she would actually like and she actually uses that palette like all the time but just for me my like quality wise it wasn't there for me and then I got a palette from her vault palette oh my god it was horrible I filmed a whole video and I kid you not I even deleted the footage deleted the footage didn't want to like i didn't want to edit that video i didn't even want to anything like that's how horrible my eye makeup looked the whole day my makeup just looked like shit like my eye makeup was horrible it was patchy flaky pigmented was horrible it looked like all the shadows just blend into each other and it made one whole color on my eye you know and it was, it was horrible i deleted that footage i didn't want to edit that video so i didn't even end up picking up the other three from the vault collection and then she comes out with this palette <sighs> we're gonna give it a try you guys we really are and i'm gonna be like i always am 100 percent honest with you guys so i hope i hope this palette just you know does it for me right off the bat i really love the palette i love the color coordination of these shades i love that she put the names right under the shade color because that is just everything and yeah so the little message just says to all my loving subscribers who have supported me all these years this one is for you volume two jacqueline hill so i just oh it's so cute i just i want to get started already so only for these videos i don't like to put anything but okay so you guys i went ahead and i put just a little bit of concealer on my eyelid now i'm gonna go in with the shade certified and certified is more of a shade that it's not completely white and it's not super creamy color either but it's an in-between color so i I really really like it from just looking at it and um, I'm just gonna apply this all over the eyelid area and I'm bringing that all the way to the top to my brow bone area and applying all over the eyelid and just blending it out because even though it is a white oh god i'm like this because even though it is a white color like shade and you're setting your you know concealer primer whatever it is on your eyelid you want to make sure that you evenly distribute <laughs> it actually looks really crazy right now you guys like on cameras i caught a little glimpse of myself but in person it doesn't look that crazy i mean it does look a little crazy but not as crazy as the camera's picking it up but okay so i feel like it's evenly 
distributed. Let me go into Perfectionist. Put a little bit of that into the crease. Just so later on when I'm trying to blend out the purple shade, it won't be as difficult for me to blend it out. Because I already have a transition shade down, it'll be easier for me to blend the purple shade. I'm going in with Not My Journey and just lightly packing it on. I think packing motion works best with the shade so just pack it on first there you go one eye always comes out a little better than the other so we will clean up with concealer I just need to lay down the foundation first That was so weird. I wonder if the camera caught it. Like literally right when I started blending. Like it faded away with perfectionist and just very ever so slightly clean it up. Both eyes look totally different. I brought it up, the purple, I brought it up higher here than here. So I need to fix that right now. Okay, so I'm just gonna start blending. And it sucks because as I'm blending, some of the eyeshadow is just coming off. But we'll see how it looks right now. going to really try to shape out this orange here and define my, hair, my eye makeup. I had to go take off the eye makeup you guys. It was so bad. I tried to work with it and yeah no. And it actually even though I did lay down a concealer I set the concealer it still um it still it still stained my eyes so just keep that in mind that it's it's going to stain your eyes and right now it's I feel like my eyelids are burning and I actually wasn't even rough with my application or even when I was taking it off, I wasn't rough with my eyelids, you know, but <sighs> go in with comfort zone. Just know that this palette is a very, very messy palette. Um, so just keep that in mind. Like once you dip your brush in it, it's automatically shadow everywhere. So if you guys don't like that, you guys will probably not like the palette. I don't care for it anymore as much as I used to. Okay, so this is a really, really pretty shade. You can definitely use it as an everyday shade and stuff like that. 
So I'm just going to build up colors. I don't know what direction I'm going in, but we shall see. But let me show you how the shade looks. Like shadow everywhere. Next, I'm going to go in with G Money. And I'm just going to work that more toward my outer. Oh yeah, this is such a pretty shade. I'm filling myself. Definitely primer is very key and very important with these type of shades. Um, just because I noticed that when I had laid down originally the, you know, trying to clean it up the, with the concealer, the shadow grabbed a lot better and it wasn't patchy or anything. But now that I'm trying to apply it to my eyelid without me going that extra step it's not really sticking too much to my eyelid but i'm just gonna make it work i'm gonna go in with positive t on a ColourPop e17 and i'm gonna put that in the inner corner Whatever makeup I do today, you guys, just, you know, it's not an everyday makeup, but just trying to I'm just trying to test out these shades. Stay true together with a Kylie brush and I'm just gonna apply that here. like a shade in between this one and this one therapy sesh like a lavender shade drama queen we'll pop it on here okay we grab drama queen with my finger and pop it on not coming off of my finger there you go just a little bit t beauty concealer And really just blend together. Okay. The glitter I'm using is from Urban Decay. And it is in Midnight Cowboy. Apply it here to the area where I had my fake
drama queen one more time spritz it with some morphe i'm just gonna tap it right here temptress and it is a black Mac I call in fascinating I went ahead and I added a little bit of shimmer in the inner corner I did black eyeliner with some pink eyeliner on top and then the glitter to create a cut crease so I zoomed you guys out but now I'm gonna just do my whole face the lashes I used were the beauty creation lashes in baby girl fenty beauty bronzer in private island I love warming up my skin, especially when I do a very dramatic eye look like this. I haven't done in such a long time. And you guys will see that I had issues with the palette throughout the video, but I'm gonna apply the blush from Kylie Cosmetics in Close to Perfect. And it's such a beautiful shade. Forehead. I want to try out this highlighter today in Stargazer from Melt Cosmetics. Look how freaking gorgeous the highlighter is. Such a beautiful highlight. I would even wear this highlight on my no makeup days just to give me a little a little something mm -hmm. Morphe lip liner and makeup talk together with the Morphe lipstick in wifey Thank you for staying till the end of the video. So the surprise is that I will be giving away one of these palettes to one of you. So you guys can win a Jaclyn Hill palette. This palette is super cute. I mean, even though I had some issues with it, hopefully you guys love it. And yeah, I'm super, super excited to be doing this giveaway and gifting it to one of you. I love each and every one of you so much from the bottom of my heart. And it's super easy, easy to enter, you guys. So the first thing you have to do is just be subscribed to my channel, which I hope you already are. Secondly, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is charmsxoxo, the same as my YouTube channel. And lastly, which is the third, just go ahead and comment down below what you are thankful for. So I'm super excited. Fingers crossed. The giveaway will be ending on the end of the month of February 29th. So you have till February 29th to enter for the giveaway. The winner will be announced March 1st. And also in the comment section when you enter what you're thankful for, just go ahead and put your Instagram name so I can DM you guys. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!